I can't see you because I've had to reboot, of course. Uh, just so you all know, I have a laptop coming. I have a brand new laptop on the way. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Um, there you go. So you can hear me now, but you won't be able to hear the you won't be able to hear the bandits. I'm afraid, um, because uh, it's uh, I. So I started I started trying to set up because I've got this laptop coming, and I'm very quiet. Am I? Am I not as quiet now? How's that now? I probably need to be a little closer, and I probably need to be a little louder. How's that then? Is that a little bit more of a boom? How's that? Better, better, better. Aye, that's better. Glad to hear you're finally getting a new laptop, David. I'm not sure why Pac Mom's suddenly Scottish. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Miss Liz. Um, yeah, so there was a big special. There was like a huge new egg special on this. And I know Cal is going to laugh at me uh, because it's it's one of her, her most hated. It's, um, it's a Republic of Gaming. It's an Asus. But it was on special, a huge special. And I thought, let's overdo it totally. And see if I can, um, if I can perhaps, uh, if I can perhaps uh, get a functioning laptop out of this. Is crafting, okay. All sorts of things happening now. I can hear you. The stream cannot hear you. This, this is going to be fun. Well, wait a second. Uh, no. Isn't it fun? I'll, have to, I'll just have to tell people what you're saying. Um, okay, so my question to you is this. Have you watched any of this Perseverance stuff? You have. Perseverance, the... the yeah! The Mars, the Mars, the Mars. <laughs> That's right. Um, I Because it's after school. No one wants to use their brain after school. Uh, let me see if I can find another cable to plug in here. But go ahead, go on, go on, go on. Um, what were you gonna say? So you, so you've watched a bit of it of this perseverance stuff. You know about it, but you're not that interested in it. I know that we can't hear the bandits. By the way, just before anyone points out that they can't hear the bandits, um, I am very aware of the fact that we can't hear bandits. Very aware. I wonder if this would work. Let's see. If I split this. Yeah, it's the way I roll, man. Talking to nobody. Uh, I'm talking to myself, which no one would find that surprising, to be honest, from, from me. All right, let's try this. If I do this, I'm going to try fully hardwiring. Oh, I dropped things. I dropped things. Yeah, I heard a crunch. That okay. Sound for a second, I thought David, because Can... I always go to the weirdest things, and I thought David. I thought like, that was. You, you we can hear you bandits. David. You... Oh, we can. Hello. I, th I think we can. The world. <laughs> crunch just... fixed the bandits. There you go. I dropped it. Like always, you just hit it. What's just hit it? That's what. That's what works. It hard. <laughs> Cool facts. Arr. I have even more memes on my PC. I oh got boy. more. You are like you're gonna be like the meme, the meme library. So tired. It's a meme library. Okay, what have I got going on here? Uh, so tired. Why so tired, Raccoon Noodles? Because I have to. Go I have to no school. clues. I have no clue if any of these swear. I don't think they do. Oh. Wait a second. Let's go back to Noodles for a second. So Noodles, you're yeah. back at. Oh, you want a camera? <laughs> they want to. You want to see me as well? What are you kidding? Yeah, you think you think you think you he has wanna, that much technology? You really don't want to see me. Trust me. Uh, let me get let me get you that for you. Let me get you that uh, there there for you. Let me get there. Let me just uh, move this in there over here, and I'll just move the thing of Bob over to the thing of Bob, and let's see if we can't do a little bit of this then on the thing of Bob. And there you go. And there we go. We've cut to me. Cut to me. I'm here. We're All right. Justice. You're making more. Wait, cut. Right now. <laughs> Yeah, my Scottish is very Irish. It's true. It tends to lilt from one to the other. I tend to go sort of like, I sort of start Welsh, Welsh, almost Welsh, and then I go in Irish, and then all of a sudden I'm Scottish for a while. Uh, I have the worst accents ever. I have an alien where I love it. Is they don't this... hire you for accents on TV? Oh, God, no. No. I try not to do accents. I try not to do accents unless I absolutely have to. Um, so while we're speaking, while we're talking right here, right now, there is... Uh, a press conference going on about um, with some new footage from Mars, which I just oh. think is kind of cool. 
Um, yeah, me and my dad watched a bit of it, and it was it. Yeah. One of the things it w went really fast. It went really fast. What like the landing type thing? Yeah. Dude, dude. Uh, yeah, it sort of dropped out of the sky, didn't it? But it, and there was some, there were some issues that I think they came across, but they they managed to fix them because that's what they do. They fix things. Uh, is there a way to go back? I don't know if that's sarcasm because I. That's this is old. This isn't what I want. Um, Me and my dad have definitely not been joking around saying <laughs> about how um, NASA lands on the on Mars mm. while SpaceX is having trouble to go up in the air and going back down. Yeah, but that's a different system, though, isn't it? I mean, I know it's just I'm... a dumb joke. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. You don't want to get you don't want to get NASA mad at you. Wouldn't I get SpaceX mad at me? <laughs> oh, that's true. That is true. You're, you're right. Yeah, you don't believe me. You don't want Elon Musk mad at you. Uh, wait, okay. So the question I have is uh, perseverance. What is the what is the big deal? Would you say? Um, I just if something's going New up on the one at a time, so I can understand what you humans are saying. Okay. Who's going first? Wolf pop, go ahead. I, we're getting footage from the moon. We're getting... From the moon? Oh, how 1970s of you. Sorry, I keep calling it the moon. It's okay. It's okay, I keep calling it it's, Windows 95. It's, it's close oh. enough. Hello? We lost you. Hello? Oh, you had a heart attack and died. Oh, oh I, 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 wolf up. I died. Yeah, that's true. That's it, we killed oh. you with our sarcasm. So, okay, so they've been getting footage from Mars. Yeah, that's... That's where you I left, that's where you left off, to, and then it stopped. It's supposed to be looking for water. Uh, I mean, life, right? Well, where there's water, there's often life, right? Isn't that generally the gist? I guess. I mean, I don't know. Oh, my God, have you seen this? Wait a second, I gotta get this. I gotta bring this over. Uh, how do I... Can I open this in a separate folder? Or so can I do something? I, make, I gotta. I gotta make it bigger. <laughs> okay, hang on. Watch this. Watch I'm this. So... Oh, watch what? Okay. You're not allowed to be tired. This is too exciting. Okay, here we go. I, I'm, I'm in the middle. Look at this. Look at this. This is them. This is the landing. I didn't realize they had this footage. Look at this. 30% speed and real time. That thing's like, ah! That's, yeah. that's what real, where it's like 30%. Ah! <laughs> Man. That sucker is moving, huh? Yeah. So that's the separation. It looks fake. Doesn't it look fake? Like, look at it, too. Like, it, it looks fake, but it looks real. Hmm. Can I open that's this okay. up or something so that I can see it in a... I'd like to just see it in a different window. But anyways. Um, but what's... The, is that... Oh, wow. I mean, it doesn't... It looks... This is the problem. Is I feel like we've been, like, spoiled... By science fiction. So that we're almost like, yeah, that's just Mars. Whatever. You know. Um, what would be the coolest thing to find there? Life. Yeah. I mean, it really would, wouldn't it? I mean, like, if we found life, I mean, chances are it's probably not going to be sort of like wandering around going like, yo, dudes, welcome to our planet, man. Um, well, no, I think it's going to be, well, like, think about it. If we haven't, we found water on Mars, but we haven't found like a lot of water. We found water on, not water, we found ice on the moon too, right? Yeah, but uh, that that one's a bit different because I feel like maybe there could be something on the moon, but at the same time with the moon, there's mm. theories that it's part of Earth, right? So that's just Earth water, probably. Hmm. A robot but, like, sent by, you know, that's a really good point. It's a full-time job is, is, um, is basically, um, is calling me on my own stuff there, where... I believe that we're going to meet other robots from other planets before we meet other people. So, so they were saying that what if we meet another robot from another planet on Mars? That'd be cool. It, um, that would be neat, though, wouldn't it? What I, would happen? Let's hope our Mars rover has attack mode. I mean, what? Well, no there's, a whole, there's a whole there's a whole new series out right now called like for all mankind or something which is about exactly that i can't believe we're just casually talking while a freaking robot is just drifting down towards the, the the surface of mars for god's sake but yes i'm with you look at that listen you do realize 
um, I'm, I, oh, it's really pretty. But, um, you have lived yeah. through a pandemic and this. Exactly. Oh, I'm look not. at it. It's actually, oh, it's making dust. I've lived through a pandemic, so this is not interesting. That's I'm joking. numb at this point, okay? But don't this be numb. Nothing... Wake up. Inspire yourself. Look at this. There's a ro there's a rocket lowering a robot onto Mars, for God's sake. No. I haven't seen this. This is insane. This is insane. I, I can't believe they've done this. I cannot believe. Oh, Wait a sec. Before? Are those people on Mars? Oh my God! They have ad. They have ads on Mars. Uh, how freaking wild is that, though? It is pretty wild. We have we we have been on Mars before. Like, I know, but not like this, though. What's the difference? The difference is that I met this robot in person. You saw the robot? Yeah, I was I was at JPL Jet Propulsion Labs, NASA's Jet Propulsion Labs, um, while they were while they were working on it. Yeah, and so I've actually <laughs> seen this robot. Um, what time was like when was that? What time? It was about four p.m. Um, right. Can I tell you something cooler been... than landing on Mars and if it if it has the word meme in it, then no. <laughs> no, it's not. It doesn't have the word meme. Okay, in it. all right. What do you got? I have eleven Robux. <sighs> that is the coolest thing ever. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what has happened? What has happened to we... society? Um, yes. Um, multiple things. We've been through a global pandemic and everything at this point. It's like, do we really plan to Mars? I don't know. Because, oh my God. Like, I think you just really hit the limit of your microphone. Your microphone was just like, I can't take that high level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. I was, uh, did we really land on Mars? I don't know. What? Because honestly, this entire pandemic feels like a fever dream. <sighs> so. Man. Well, at least it didn't feel like a fever dream. If it felt like a fever dream, you'd probably have COVID. You know how many uh, tests? I did two COVID tests today. I'm doing two COVID tests tomorrow. I'm doing another COVID test on Wednesday. Get that. Yes. Oh, wait a sec. There's more. Wait a sec. There's more. I missed stuff. What's going on here? What's this part? Wait a sec. Let me just drag it over. I just want, I wanted to stop the ads because I don't really like ads. Oh, that's the actual opening of oh, the parachute and hi, stuff. James. James. James knows tons about Mars robots, doesn't he? Does he? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, well, James knows everything. It's, I was going to say, he knows everything. Of course he does. Um, wait a sec, where are we going? So here? now, James, you have to come up with some really inf cool information about Mars robots or else we're going to be uh, really disappointed. Well, what about what kind of microbiology might be available out there? Hmm? Okay, so this is, the, I guess this is the, is this the, I'm guessing he's not on Mars, but uh, we're going to play this now, right? Can you play? Go. Play. Why does every player have to be different? Why does everyone have to be different with their players? Um, okay, so that's a still, but I'd like to see it actually moving. How nice it would be if it was moving. Uh, that's a picture of the parachute, yes. But, I mean... James doesn't believe in Mars. Oh, boy. J James, Mars is real. I don't know what you're talking about. James, James, you probably don't even want to get vaccinated either. Does, that, it, that's... does anyone really think this is fake, out of curiosity? Does anyone really think this is fake? No. No. Why won't this stream? I, just I mean, is it? Is COVID fake? I don't know. I wish it was. Oh, my God. A COVID is so not fake. You know why? Because my because uncle died of it. To get... Oh. Yeah. Yep. It got, it got two people we know. Well, two, uh, probably more. But it got two old people that we know. We got, one of, it got Jane's uncle and it got my uncle. And they were, they were all Sorry. over 80. No, no, I mean, that's not, yeah, thank you. But it's, it's, you know, I, I, he was not someone I spoke to an awful lot, but as a kid, he was really cool. He was like big into theater and stuff as well. Yeah. But, um, but this is the thing that people forget, right? With COVID that like people actually do die, right? I mean, like that's the, that's the, the annoying part of this. Like, what did we reach? We reached like half a million dead from COVID. I don't even, in, I don't forget, but. Die. No, no, I don't think you do. It's just, it's like people die from so many other things too. But not to this scale. I think someone was saying that this is the same number. Uh, this is a larger number than the first. Is it right? I, is, I can't even believe that this is true, but I don't know. First and Second World War and the and uh, and Vietnam. 
I heard that that was that the, that was sort of the same kind of numbers. Well, think about it. Like, not the entire world wasn't involved in those wars. Well, except for the world wars. But I mean, like mm. the Vietnam War wasn't everyone, right? It wasn't mm. as many people. Ha. Um, James yeah, saw we talked about my Black History stuff today. Oh yeah. School. Because it's Black History yeah. Month. Yeah. We're you know what? 20 to 28, 28 moments of Black History by this channel on YouTube. And every day we watch like three with my French teacher. It's called... We haven't you know, done much for Black History until like it was just starting recently. I have to write an essay. Well, you should check out this because this is Black Ento. I think it's Black Ento. Is that what it's called? I'll just leave a look at it. This is a friend of ours who is doing um, uh, uh, Black Ento Week. And it's Black uh, uh, black, uh, uh, black uh, Bug Scientists. Huh. Isn't that cool? Uh, oh, like Bento Micromancer. Like Entomologists or ento Entomologists? Entomologists. Am I saying that right? Entomologists? I never get this right. Entomology, yes. So she is, she is Widow Webb. And you may know her as uh, Bag of Chips' mom. Oh, I was about to say, um, is that... She's the one who got us the Black Widow spiders that we got to see and, yeah, and yeah, fire yeah. lasers at. Oh, um, I remember firing lasers. Oh, man, Wolf Pup, you should have been there. We had uh, lasers and Black Widow spiders. I what? wasn't even in tech bandage on that happened. I know, yeah. I'm saying you should have told... It's too bad because we'll have to do it again. You should have been at our school, Wolf Pup. Why weren't you at our school? Come on. Yeah, what are you doing, Wolf Pup? Come on. You're better than this. Because uh, I, because I live in a different area. I live true. in. I can't remember. Do you live further north or further? Where do you live? You don't give me specifics. No, but no, 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 no specifics. Not specifics. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like I live at one two three Fake Street. What? Don't live at. Oh man! Now everyone's gonna show up at one two three Fake Street. <laughs> I don't live at one two. Isn't one? Two, isn't Fake Street a real thing? That would be the best. There must be a Fake Street. Noodles, okay, come on, Google Noodles. Yeah, we got a, okay, is there a fake street? Okay. Have you looking. realized that if you live at one two three Fake Street, nobody would believe you? It's true. Well, it's like if your phone number was five five five. Remember that in all movies, it's like five five five. Yeah, you can't be five five five. That's and, uh, oh, it, it doesn't work. Simpsons. And it totally doesn't work. Five 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 is a number strictly taken by um, movies. Yeah. It's like the it's like I, the movie number. Um, it's, it's at, um, in The Simpsons. So this is who we should be watching here. I'm going to move this over to, does this screw oh, anything up if I show this off? We'll see. Hopefully I'm not showing anything off that I shouldn't. Um, so this is Median, who is Widow Web, because she's a Black Widow specialist. And she is involved in this, um, uh, Black in, uh, that's it, Black in Ento Week. And so tomorrow, and I think I'm going to miss it because I got a stupid wardrobe fitting. No offense to the wardrobe people. Please don't put me in some funny pants. Um, <laughs> but because I have a stupid wardrobe, wardrobe fitting, I wardrobe think I'm going to miss people, it. I love you. Don't, don't, please don't, don't put me put in wool me... socks. I got, oh, wool. You know, they had to line my clothes because they made them out of wool. Ooh. And I'm allergic to wool. So they had to actually line them. Uh, James Gurney was, what, what, just stepping back for a second, James Gurney very kindly has, has, Forgiven me for my my stream this morning. I kind of I went a little bit ballistic. Oh no! I may have gone I may have gone a little ot a little op on things. I may have gone a little McKay. What happened? What did you do? Now? I just got angry at the fact that we don't. Oh, thank you, PHC Johnson. Uh, I got really angry that we didn't that we're not further ahead with our vaccinations. I don't like spiders, but it would be interesting to see one. Cause like I'm, I'm afraid of a, what's it called? I'm trying to remember the name. Sorry. Um, uh, chickens. Crabs. I'm a. I don't like crabs. You don't like crabs? Well, crabs. No. Crabs are very spider-like. I agree with you. I I find them kind of creepy too. But I'll tell you, having seen real black widows, like Noodles and I have. Yes. You can't help. But, it, but realize how freaking beautiful they are. And very terrifying. They're not, they sure. weren't. Did you find them yes, terrifying? They, yes, I was sort of scared the entire time. I used beautiful. to. I it's used, just like how a lion's pretty, but you don't want to go up and kiss a lion. I'm oh. not going to kiss a black widow spider, for God's sake. What do you take me for? Some kind of a freak? 
Um, no, the the thing yeah. was. Uh, okay, so just let me finish up on this quickly. So Midian, uh, Midian, Widow Web, follow her. She's great. She's also has a fantastic podcast called um, The New Normal. Um, but she is, so she is, is is a specialist in Black Widow Spiders, and she's helping out um, with this uh, Black in Ento week, and you should definitely check it out. Art and bugs. Like, what a combination. I like the sound of that. Um, and, uh, yeah, on the spider front, because of the Black Widow Spiders, that she... She was very kind. She let her husband bring the Black Widow spiders in. He's a specialist in grasshoppers, but she still let him bring it because he also brought the lasers so that we could listen to them with a laser. Um, Wait, you could listen to them? I thought it was just you're bugging them with a laser and making no, them angry at you. No, no, it was like you fire this laser at them and oh, well, you disgusting. you dust the what are you disgusting? You well, when they were eating, you had all the munching. sounds. Yeah, like, you heard munching sounds when they were eating. Yeah. It was, and they would do things like, like this on their web with their, what are they called? Mandibles? What are they called? The little, the thing. Legs. Le- I think, no, the, the, what are those things that they have those things at the front of their face that are like, Pictures, kind evil of. Evil death poison things. That's it. Evil death poison things. So they scrape those evil dead poison things across the web and it makes a sound. You know what I mean? Murder hooks. That's it. Thank you, James. They're called mm-hmm. murder hooks. Um, so... So, but ever since then, I, I used to scream and cower and then squash any any spider I find. Oh, uh, I still do. Well, now you know what I do? What? Now I gently uh, persuade them onto a piece of cardboard or into a little glass. And I either take them outside or I put them somewhere cozy in the house where I'm not going to have to run into them. Because, For you know, because I, I don't want them to. And be like, get it out of here. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not saying I'm not screaming the whole time. But I'm just saying that that's what I do, right? I'm just saying that, like, um, before any rational thought kicks in, my bird's just like, get it out, get it out, go away, go, bad, bad, bad. And that's I it. it. But I don't want to whack it because I just feel like, I feel like we just, we're so destructive, aren't we? Like, I mean. Oh, we are. I know. Like, I want to, I want to stop sucking. I want to be better at that. So I want to do that. I want to be, I want to like, I want to save spiders and have them go like, he is our leader. And then I can control them. And then I can say like, uh, attack that person. Look, I have a spider on the ceiling right there. Look at that up there. But it's actually a beanie baby. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. That's a beanie. Oh, my brain is not. You can't keep up, man. You're not, a, you're not in squirrel mode. So that is, uh, that is uh, Medianne's, uh, uh Twitter handle please follow her and uh let her know that you will be checking out uh, i will be the spider king oh i like that harry tain i like that the spider king um cool facts school (laughs) it makes me me brain hurt makes me brain hurt i like brain don't like brain when it hurts so we've been having to choose schools because baz has got to move to a different school next year oh i use lot word when few word do trick (laughs) <laughs> oh dear! I think we've lost, we've lost, we've lost control of Wolf Pup. Why, when you walk, you can't talk. <gasps> I like that. I'm like Aquaman of the Arachnids. I'm like Wait, do you understand Arachnid what I man. Said, Arachnid I, man. <laughs> I said, why use many? Why use lot word when few word do trick? <laughs> do trick. But that makes sense. Sort of makes sense to me. It does. M- makes sense. Little it does. It does. Maybe. <laughs> That makes Are we sense. Yoda now? That sounds... Yoda, Yoda, we are. So, so, I guess. That sounds poetic. Small word easy they are. Ooh. Small word easy they are. Mm. Little talk mm. better. Little talk <laughs> yes. better. That's like, that's like saying, that's like, instead of saying shut up, you go, little talk better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How many schools is he going to, says Andre, uh, uh, Ann. I can't say it. Dr. Octopus with spiders, spider puss. I don't know if that has quite the same ring, Jeffy. <laughs> not sure. Spider puss. Spider puss. Spider puss. Yeah, it's not it quite that. Whatever. Yeah. His spider minions could do. It just it uh, doesn't sound right. Huntsman spiders. Do. Huntsman spiders are pretty freaking insane. Do you ever have those moments where like you're watching a show and you're being like, oh, ye-, and then like a few days earlier you're like, oh yeah, I that part is in the. In the Simpsons, because that's the, that's the show that I've been watching. Huh, look at that. Have Cap- you ever been watching Hamilton, and then you realize um, 
to be messing if he has more references to Hamilton than you think. And now you're in love with Hamilton and you've listened to it multiple times. It's pretty great, isn't it? This is great. This is oh. great songs in there. All the songs are great. <laughs> Let me try to think. I I didn't love all of them, but I loved most of them. And I I love I thought the play was I hate plays because I'm an actor. So because you're an actor, I don't know why. I just I don't really I don't like know. plays. You, just, you didn't even like sitting through our uh, beautiful school plays. Oh my god, they were interminable. Remember that? They went on forever. I love them. They're like my favorite part. Yours were not that bad, to be honest. But man, Thank you. the I won't name names, but a certain school that Baz has been to, there was one play that I swear to God, I thought I was gonna have to like just get up and go. This has got to end. Wait, it, the one he's in right now. Shh. I mean, what? No. Because I was thinking. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like David was trying to talk, but it, it was just hard no. when he went, it's the zoo. No, no. I was just trying to stop uh, noodles from getting me into trouble. That's all. I'm not going to get you in you trouble. You always get me in trouble. Excuse oh, me. and what do you think of that? Did you, you, I'm assuming you saw the thing your mom sent me, right? That, that oh, yeah, really, the, um... isn't that cool? Give me a second to process. They were, it was a, me? it was a COVID sensor like we were talking about. Oh yeah, those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was Except so the... simple. Oh yeah, yeah. those. Mm-hmm. I remember that. But I don't, I'm I th- thinking of using them in schools, which I think is, I think with those COVID sensors though, the reason they're simpler is because I think they just sense each other. Well, that's it. They're using Bluetooth. I think we were using, I think perhaps. We were trying to actually make it so if you didn't have a bracelet, it would still work. Exactly. That's it. And I think that that might have been our fatal flaw. I think it's possible we were using technology that was... That was that, that would, uh, didn't exist. Well, no, no. I think the technology existed, but I think we I think you almost needed to jump straight into Bluetooth. Now, that said, we could still do it, and we st- should still do it, because I think it'd be fun to have your own anyways. But... Um, um, the uh, thing is, those wouldn't work in schools. They're thinking of putting them in schools. Are you serious? They'd be beeping all the time. That's like, true. even though we try social distancing, just like even just walking, like down the aisle hmm. like the aisles aren't the aisles are two meters apart but the aisles aren't like don't have space for you to be two meters apart from people beside their desks while walking there'd be no space huh. you'd have like there was a very interesting article in the daily and when i say article i mean somebody said it to me <laughs> i didn't actually i didn't actually read it it was audio um oh. but they said that 20% of the no 25% of the American population is or are kids yeah 25% so wait a second that means that 25% of our population is not vaccinated and uh, yeah but they don't actually know if kids transmit vir- the virus yet well they know that they know that they can transmit it i believe just that they're not as good at transmitting it but what is a kid a kid is um, like under sixteen, but that's it. But so, the, but there's apparently there's a difference between like thirteen to fourteen to fifteen to sixteen I have, to seventeen. I read something saying yeah. that kids can get the virus just the same, hmm. but like they don't get it as bad. And I think the idea is if the adults are vaccinated, hmm. then they can't transmit to the adults, and the kids can't transmit to the. The adults can't transmit to the kids. Well, they were saying we can't get to herd immunity where everyone is actually safe from it in the same way that like the measles and stuff was is yeah, no, that's not really possible with the kids aren't being vaccinated right so uh so my question is and i think we've got look we have james in here if uh, maybe we can once again right. you know flaunt our james gurney and say james hey guys we have a james how about you we have a james we have a james gurney here and i wonder if james wouldn't mind perhaps just l- leaping into this the kids thing um, the kids and vaccination. They're saying that 25% of the population will not be vaccinated because 25% of them are kids. Um, and that kids is kind of a loose term because at what age do you start exhibiting symptoms? And I mean, kids have died of COVID. Not as many, but kids have died of COVID. Um, not to scare you. But, um, but you know, if I can scare you, I'm always, it's always happy I'm to do that. I'm going to be honest, I'm always scared of everything. Uh, me too. It's yeah. the best way to be. I try not, I mean, not everything, but I try, I just try not to think of that. Just we should start to, the like, coward bandits. That could be, uh, you and I will start the coward bandits. Yeah, I mean, I'm not scared of everything, but I'm like, oh, there's so many things that can kill me at this point, whatever. So, I I mean, I don't go out and I'm like, haha, this bus could kill me, let's walk in front of it. No, 
I mean, like, like so, I, I know COVID could kill me, so I'm careful, of course. Right. But I try not to think about it too much because it's just really. Well, that's it. You have to be able to manage, uh, man, manage risk. And if you if you truly are worried about risk, then you never leave the house. But then if you never leave the house, what if there's a fire? And then you go, what if there's a fire? What if there's an electrical? Like, I mean, there's so many things that you just. There's, there's so many things that could happen. And it's unknowns. not think about it all the time. Right. If I go to the mall, I can be a hostage in an armed robbery. Yeah, exactly. Especially like, if you're in a game. <laughs> then you're definitely going to be one. In a to ga- be honest, I'm playing a game and I'm actually robbing a mall at the moment. Oh, boy. Are you still a hitman? Um, no. I actually have been looking into payday. Ah. So you've stopped being the happiest hitman and become payday. I have become a criminal oh. that... We got James. We got James. James is responding. James? Hang on. James? James, James says kids can transmit. Kids can get sick and die. The right. issue is we haven't yet conducted decent clinical trials of the vaccines on children. Oh, yeah, children. yeah. That's, that's the other thing. Um, right, right. You can't, like... The problem is with the vaccines is, like, a kid doesn't understand, like... I, fair enough. I probably don't even really understand like the full side effects that could happen from testing this new vaccine. That's why it's 16 and up because above 16, they believe that, you know what, you understand the risk of testing mm-hmm. this vaccine. Mm-hmm. So, but then how did they test them before then? How do they test like flu shots and stuff on people? Well, they probably test they got like someone... a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And then they monkeys. probably- Monkeys. They tested monkeys. Really? No, I'm just guessing. Oh, well, like, I mean, I think eventually it's, like, with... Eventually with that stuff, they're like, okay, like, people... It's been, like, maybe a few years, and nobody's, like, died from this. Nobody's had any serious side effects from this, so we can, like, maybe test it on, like, maybe a few people that, like, I don't... I don't really... Hmm. Yeah, I guess you have to have... I mean, I suppose you got... Parents would have to give... Cons- yeah, Do you... Consent. Do you remember, I don't know if you know this story, but apparently with, um, uh, with, uh, what was it? Uh, smallpox. With smallpox, the guy, the guy who eventually worked out the, uh, how to inoculate people about it against it wow. using, they discovered that milkmaids, women who milked, they were always women, who milked the cows got this thing called, um, uh, what was it called? It was the cowpox. But anyone who got the cowpox wasn't getting smallpox. Now, smallpox was incredibly dangerous and deadly, whereas cowpox was just kind of ugly. So someone went, wait a second. If I give people cowpox, would that stop them from getting smallpox? And so what did they do? They found a 10-year-old kid and they jabbed him with, with, they jabbed him with the cowpox. And then a little while later, they went, okay, and they jabbed that same poor kid with smallpox. And they're very lucky it worked because the kid would have died, right? What time did they do this at? When did they? It was 4 p.m. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I. Year? I don't know the year. You'd have to look it up. That's the, Google Noodles. That's why you're here is to make everything that I say fill in all the blanks, and it's just all blanks. Uh, James Gurney says we need 70 percent of the population to get the vaccination, both doses. Aha. And maintain mask wearing for a short while to reduce the R below one. And the R is the, I can't remember if it's the replication uh, number or the... the... It's, it's like it's like how many people, like per one person that gets COVID, how many people get infected. Hmm. Right. It's how many people get infected with each person who gets it. So once, yeah, if so you're... Like, right. So like in uh, Australia, it's like 0.3 people. Oh, look at that. So it was Edward Jenner and it was around... Around 1800. Damn. So I guess we can't exactly. we can't be jabbing people at 4 p.m. for us then, I guess. <laughs> Howdy, Tweety well, Row. Yeah. Thank you very much. In the 1800s. I don't know. The kid probably didn't. His family didn't 18, have money. 1800. They probably paid him money. And his family's like, listen, if at least. They probably didn't even pay the money. They probably just grabbed an orphan off the streets and then just jabbed him. You know? I, I went to. No, it, it was a kid that had a good family. And then. And like, I'm pretty sure. It, like he was suffering really bad with it with the disease yeah so oh, then so they're like we might as well ah you... well i so thought they basically... i thought they gave him the smallpox as well i thought no i don't think so you think that's a, a you think that's fake news 
No, I'm remembering because yeah. I watched a documentary with my dad, and it was all about viruses and all that. Hmm. Some I, I'm not gonna lie, some of it spooked me a bit. Really? Yeah. What's what spooked you? It was just like, what if the world goes back to smallpox, which it kind of has. It kind of has went that crazy again. Hmm. And like it was just being like. I hate needles. I don't want to have to get, like, a needle every day just to go outside to go to the school. Mm-hmm. Because I absolutely... I don't hate noodles. So do you I, do... I, I, you hate I noodles? Hate oh, my God. Me? It's think needles. <laughs> think needles? It's think needles. I'm going to be honest. I'm not too fond of needles either because, I mean, the last time I had one, I fainted. So. I don't... Oh, it was the son of Jenner Gardner. They injected him after the cowpox with a variation, ground up pus from smallpox. Ground up pus. Ugh. No, why do you need to know that? I don't. Ah, James, why do you have I to make it? I don't like you anymore, you James. You crossed a line, James. You crossed a line with your with your with your legitimate scientific knowledge. Just um, say it was a variation. You don't have to say it was ground up pus. Medusa Candy points out a very, very good point that you can't vaccinate if you've already got the disease, right? Because the whole point of the vaccination is it's making your body, it's giving your body a weaker version of it in order to have your body get used to it so that when it shows up, it goes, hey, I don't like you. And I know I that. I don't like you. I got a history with you and then beats him up. And then beats him up. You... Like noodles will do to James Gurney when she, when she sees him now because of that what? because of the pus comment. Um, Are you speaking for me? Excuse me. I will not beat him up unless I do. No, I'll beat you up. I will ground him up like pus. Um, no. Stop. Uh, me. Oh, some diseases you can get you can vaccinate after getting infected. Rabies is a clear example. Wow, rabies. The UK were really worried about rabies for a while there. Um, okay. Uh, so interesting. So anti, yeah. So I went, I went ballistic this morning on my, on my burn and learn stream because I just, I don't know what it was. I don't know what exactly triggered me. I think someone said something about like, oh, what? So we're going to make everyone vax. You're going to force people to vaccinate. That's a, that's a, what do they call it? That was like a, you're a fascist or a, you're a, di you're a dictator. And I, kind of lost it because I was like oh come on if you're too stupid to get a vaccination then you don't des you don't deserve to I don't want to hang out with you I don't want to be anything I don't want to you know I so I kind of like I may have overreacted someone might have been joking even but I just I've got to this point now where I'm so sick of watching joggers jogging around the the block without masks on or walking I walked down Danforth yesterday there were old people smoking cigarettes with their masks around their neck like just in like I just I was like, what's going on? And why aren't they vac vaccinated? You know? They might be. They might be, but I don't think they are because we've, the only people we vaccinated are 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 um are our little 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 our our boy that's really hard to say our our um uh are our front line workers I believe is that right? And prison people in prison have they done that yet? Have they done? Have they done prisoners? That sort of makes sense because they're in a close environment, I guess. Um, yeah, well, it's like you're in prison. You don't indigenous, your... indigenous communities, because they are, they are for. I think possibly because of social. I, I'm not sure that it's a physical thing. I think it may be a socioeconomic thing. Uh, they were, um, they were getting it much, much more than 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 other people. Um, but my and I got into kind of an argument on Twitter about this because. Uh, I worry that the more complicated we make the process of vaccinating people, like the more complicated it is to figure out, okay, so who gets now, who gets it next? I'm like, stop talking about it and just freaking start, go start at a hundred and work down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Starting again, David. I'm doing it again. It's true. Oh. Yeah. But what about the, what about the people that are over a hundred? What if there's someone a hundred and two? Ooh. Yeah. Wait a second. What happens about that? No. Cause they're just doing their, they would do, I think they're starting at like, 80 and up, right? Um, I think that's the first That's the first thing that they're doing right now. And I'm not even sure they've even started 80 and up here yet. I don't even know that. Anyways, look, this isn't to freak you out. The reality is that this is... What's so funny is that we've always had viruses threatening us. Always. Like, since the moment you were born. Since the moment I was born, which is like, you know, when there were dinosaurs roaming the world. That's you know? A long time. Yeah. 
Um, that's like five years ago. <laughs> that's it, exactly. Um, and maybe maybe we can get dinosaurs to roam the Earth again. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, well, it wouldn't. We'd all die. The ecosystem would be overturned. Continue. Really? You think so? Well, yeah. You're that would be gonna... too many, too many dinosaurs. Okay, what, 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 what is invasive species? Um, we are. We we're are. invasive. Wouldn't you say? I would say we're an invasive species, wouldn't you? Oh, we're totally invasive species. Yeah. But I'm just saying, look at we've, we, what we've done to the world. We've done Imagine. bad things. Mm-hmm. We're not. I'm just going to have, I'm going to have a look at my mod view and just say hi to everybody. Let's see what we got here. Um, uh. Back, 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 back. I'm going to have a look at my mod view and just Whoa, say hi to everybody. It's talking to me. Got... Okay. What's talking to you? My computer was talking to me. It's fine. It's okay. I've got over it. Uh, we've got... Where are my mods? Where are my little mods? I can't see my little list of mods. I don't know who's here today. I can't see it. I'm confused by it. Uh, Jack Jastra, Cal, and Nightbot. And Ruby K! Yay, Ruby K! You know, I was texting with Cal today. Because it's been too long. I feel like I've, we haven't had a chance to insult each other enough of late. Um, yeah. Cal, quick insult him. Uh, oh, I'm sure she'll get to it. Uh, Crazy Nut DK, thank you very much. Wow, three months. Hey, they're all something new here? No, nothing new here. Just the usual paranoia and, uh, you know, and chaos. Yeah, David, we remember the David, asteroid impact. Poor you forgot Abby. something. Also, David having uh, tech problems. That's daily. It is true. It's daily tech problems. That's me. Well, it depends if we, if you go on the computer the day, then there's a tech problem. If you didn't go on the computer then the day, then the computer's fine. Cal has been up for 36 hours. Cal, Bad you know, Cal. there are three things that are important in life. I mean, apart from me. Um, you've got sleep. You've got just food. just giving her ammo at this point. Sleep, food, and there was something else. What else was it? Water? Is that the one? Is that the, I can't remember what the other one was. But I mean, but basically sleep and food. Like those, like, and, and and you don't sleep enough. It's crazy. Bad. I have some, I have some, I have some other stuff that I'm, I'm, I thought I would tell you about. I'm, I'm thinking about getting an editor to edit down some of these videos into like 10 minute sizzle reels. What do you think? Not sizzle 10 reels. minutes, maybe 20. I don't think you can get. What? Yeah. We, we don't, if you were to really squash this down to things that were actually interesting to people, I think it'd be even hard to find 10 minutes, wouldn't it? No. No, hey. No. <laughs> I mean, well, I use, uh, okay. If, if we could just cut out to... everything you say and just do me, and then maybe you might get ten. And minutes. then it'd be awful. <laughs> ten minutes of excitement. Okay. Um, ten minutes. Ten minutes of David just. Just. I don't know. Talking do do? about how great he we're is. We're going. We're going back to why use lot word when few word do trick. Mm, if if it's you true. if you get an editor, I'm constantly going to be saying editor put. The the 10 middle sizzle, sizzle wheel. Cut more of this. Cut more of this. Yeah, I want this. Please, pretty please. I know you're not paying. I know I'm not paying you, but David is. I'm trying to find if, your mom's if text. Editor make bacon My mom? Sizzle. I'm what? trying to find your mom's text to me about that cool thing. Oh, okay. That was right. very, uh, it's an email, so maybe that's why. Oh, it was an email? It. That's why I can't yeah. find it in my text then, I'll bet. Just so you know, I'm going back to caveman talk. I have devolves. Oh, really? Okay. Refuse evolution. Mm. Good, Evol good grog. Good grog. Talk good fast from cave. Okay. Refuse evolution. Become monkey. Monkey. I like monkey. it. Um. All right. Uh. Baz. Oh my God. Baz already broke his. Did I tell you? Baz already broke his braces. Uh, if get editor. Actually, this is a good question for you, Noodles. Bacon at top. Um. Uh. Wolf pup. Less talk. I talk to Noodle Talk. Uh, noodle Talk. Uh, yes. You had braces, right? I have braces. Do you still have them? What do you mean? I still have them. They've been yeah. on for like a, they've been on for like ten years. On for like a year. Okay. Do you ever pop them off your teeth? No. I did once. Uh, no, wait, sort of. Did it like? Did it pop off and start sliding around? Oh yeah. Oh, they do that. Yeah, well, I had that. So I can't get mad at him and ground him for breaking them? I mean, I did it once. We had a big battle this weekend, Baz and I. Do you want to hear about it? Oh, okay. And you have to give me I advice. I have no breaks. Yes. You'll have to give me advice on this because you know what's going on. Um, 
so uh, I can't find the thing that your mom sent me, which sucks. Um, but I'm just, I will find just it. Just search my mom's name. Uh, but I have no. But there's a lot of. It's a lot of. Oh, there is. There you are. I mean, there she yeah. is. Let's have a look. Ah, we've got it. I for some reason I was looking. I I was looking. I was trying to spell her entire name, and of course that didn't work because that's no. not what she uses. She uses just the think part of think noodles. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna copy this link. Uh, copy oh link yeah, address. I guess I guess she does. Right? Yeah. Uh, and also she changed her email address. It's like suddenly she had a new email address. It was very distracting. Suddenly, okay. it's been like five years. I know, David. but it takes me a while to catch up. Okay, so um, so back to the braces and back to the, the arguing with my son. So he'll hate me for bringing this up, and I won't even talk about the mm -hmm. specifics of it. But I suddenly got freaked out about gaming. Suddenly. Why? Well, I went, wait a second. He, the first thing he, if he ever gets any free time, he just, he just automatically oh, goes and games. Second. Do you guys have rules on how long you're allowed to game for? Sadly, yes. Okay. And what are, and what are the rules for you? Like what, how much gaming are you allowed to or not allowed to do? Uh, on the Weekdays, I only have one hour. Well, okay. that ch sometimes changes with Tech Bandits because I'm playing right now. I'm convinced that everyone does Tech Bandits so that they get extra time to game and they get to, like, pretend that it's actually Tech Bandits that they're doing when really they're you just know, gaming. I really find this interesting. I just... You just dual... Play. Yeah, you dual screen. I need a daily dose of taking hostages. I'm sure that's something you probably don't want to tell your guidance counselor at school. Um, okay, so I don't have a so you're allowed an hour a day. That's a pretty good amount of gaming, isn't it? No. What would you like to do? What do you I, think is fair? If I don't have anything to do, mm. then like, like if I don't have much to do, mm. like if it's just like I need to do homework that is like due in like a year. Mm. Because you know there's a lot of homework that's due in a year. A lot of that happens. Yeah, and, like, stuff like that. If, like, a project, but it's, like, a small project, and it's done in, like, a week. Hmm. Okay, so, and, and once that's done, you can game. Yeah. My problem is that I found that it was very easy to put stuff off. And I feel like it's very easy to... Gaming is so easy. And then all of a sudden, hours have gone by. And my concern was that it wasn't getting, um, he wasn't responding to us when we called. It was, there was always something else that had to be done. Anyway, but get this, I got so grumpy, I got so angry that I went up and I turned off his computer while he was playing the game with his friends. And then, oh. and then I pulled all the cables out of the back of it and I picked it up and I took it in the basement. What do you think? I don't know if I'll ever be before doing. <laughs> like that. Well, pup, were you about to say I don't think I can ever talk to you again? Yeah, I did. Isn't that like such a dad thing to do? I th I feel yeah, because... like I feel like my dad would just come down and be like, "Get off the PC." Right. Yeah, but my son, your dad's obviously scarier than I am because when I'd say that, my son just goes like, "Mm-hmm." Because my dad can like. He made this PC for me, and he said I can have it when I move out. Right. Wait. But like, is that is he, he trying can... to get you to move out now? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, Baz, yeah. I made that computer for me. By the way, the PC that Baz has that he uses for gaming, I actually made that not for me, but for us to use. You know, I thought I would get to use it while he wasn't using it, and I've never touched it since. But anyways, my concern was I just felt like as a dad, I wasn't giving him enough specific time. So I've said, look, I need specific times you're going to game. You tell me when they're going to be, but then I need you to stick to them. And if you don't stick to them, then uh, I don't know. What am I allowed to do? What do you There's do? There's going to be trouble. Yeah, I know. But I say that. But then what's the trouble? I don't know. Spiders? Yeah. Spiders in his face. Okay. He's, he took it overboard. a day. Okay, what happens to you, uh, Noodles? What happens to you if you spend too much time on the computer? Like, do your do your parents come down on you, or like what happens? I don't. 
Damn it. Why do you have to be so perfect? No, no, not that. It's not that I don't. It's just that I have a time limit. Okay, and what is your time limit? Just 7 to 7.30. You're allowed half an hour. No, no. 7 a.m. to 7.30 is when the internet's on. And then after that, it's not. I see. So that stops you from coming home from school and playing until it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And is the computer, the computer's not in your room either, is it? Oh, no, there's no devices allowed in our room. See? That's where I screwed up. Mine is in my basement. And, like, mm. for me, if I play too long, first, my mom texts me over Discord. And if right. I don't see that... Your mom is hip that... enough to use Discord? That's cool. I don't even know how to use Discord. My mom and my dad have Discord. I both have them friended. Mm. You friended your parents? Baz would yes. never do that to me. I, I totally follow my mom. Yeah. Your mom is very funny, I've got to say. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll tell her that. Um, yeah, she's very funny, and your dad's very funny, too. They're actually, they're, 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 um, uh, and your dad has lots of really cool tools, too, I hear. <laughs> so I like to talk to him about what all, to- all the tools he has. And, uh, like, if my, and then after that, my, if I don't read the text, my mom will come down and be like, time to get off the PC. And then I have never stopped after that. Like, you, it might just, I might just spin around and be like, one more second, I'm, I haven't finished shooting people. Right. <laughs> I just, one of the hostages is getting away and I need to murder them. I so, need to murder him. Yeah. Quickly, I need to, I need to kick him in the knees and cable tie him up. Oh, let me just stop for a second and say goodnight, K.M. K. McCabe. I think K. McCabe's heading out. Is that right? Um, sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, timers. So, yeah, so we start. I wanted to work on a timer. I thought it'd be kind of fun to build a big countdown clock. Can you imagine if I just built a big countdown clock that sat in his room and it's like bigger than one of his walls and then it just goes and it just oh counts God. down? I, I, I get stressed when I'm watching something and it's like almost time's up and I'm I the closer it gets to time's up I'm like I just get stressed. Yeah, that's yeah. That's what I want. I want him to be very stressed. No, for the most part look, the fact of the matter is that I I feel like without any video games, you're kind of it's almost like you don't know a language. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like you have nothing like I don't know what you would talk about with your friends if you can't talk about games and the internet. Does that make sense? Um, to be honest, when I lately, mm. I have been talking to friends I've actually made on Discord. It's because I haven't went to school, and probably mm. all my friends hate me. What? Because your friends, your real friends in school, or your not? I mean, like real world friends, as opposed to real friends. Yeah, I don't know why. I just feel like they would hate me <laughs> when I come mm. back to real school. Why? I don't know. Hmm. Get rid of that feeling now because it's not true. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. And if they hate you, that's their problem, frankly. Yeah. Yeah. Then stupid they be. <laughs> that that yes. that me say. That me say stupid they be. That me huh? say me huh? say huh? yeah. Mm-hmm. That me yeah, say because smart we, me be. Tech bandits on whenever we do it next is going to be a caveman edition. Cave bandits. Tech bandits. It's the cave, cave bandits. bandits. We could do a Cave Bandits, and we could just talk about all the different YouTube shows that are out there about people making, like, cool, stru- cool like, survival stuff. We could totally do that. That's actually a brilliant idea. So brilliant, Thank I'm going to write Wolf it Pup. down. Well done, Wolf Pup. Or should I say, um, Thorg? Wolf. Thorg. Thorg? Thorg? Yeah. Um, Cave Pup. Just... He's Cave Pup. Cave Pup. I'll just be... Is it like K-pop? No, I'm actually Vibe Pup. Vipup. Oh, you are you are you Vipup today? I didn't see. I didn't. Yeah, see. I I actually changed my full name to Vipup. I didn't just. Ooh, it. it's Vipup. I'm a gonna be crazy. <laughs> Is that your? That's your little tag. I'm a I'm a gonna be a bit crazy. It, yeah, it's not a lie. I am going okay. crazy. And noodles going... noodles is just says play in Minecraft. Because that's oh, apparently that's yeah. all she's doing is playing Minecraft. I don't like she it telling been people what I'm doing. Playing Minecraft for five days. What does can... what does mine say? What does mine say I'm doing? Well, it actually, doesn't say anything. You probably you should haven't have turned it off. Oh, good, because I don't like people knowing. I don't like people like I'm like I'm like yeah I'm really busy I can't talk right now and they're like and then on the thing it just says like you know Hitman. 
<laughs> what I mean, like I'm playing a game of some sort. I don't want that. Um, I'm busy. Oh, I wonder why he's playing Payday Two, a game that I Payday actually kind of want to get because I want to because I want to take hostages. Because I have actually learned stuff from watching videos on Payday. If I'm ever in a hostage situation, I should just dig my head into the floor. This is a false. This is something I worry about. That there's like a false knowledge that people watch a video, and I think there's a, there's, a, there's actual like a terminology for this. I, I think it might be called false knowledge or something, or the illusion. <laughs> of... I, oh, it might be. Um, what's the false knowledge called? Maybe false knowledge. Illusion. Oh. It's no. It's the illusion of competency. I believe it's called. And the idea uh. is that you watch a video on something, and you go like, "Oh, I know how to do that. I watched a video on karate. I can do karate." I can do Taekwondo, sort of, you, but I hated the instructor. We've talked, but about we've talked about this, but you can't do it from watching it on a YouTube video. You could you could uh, try, couldn't you? I mean, with YouTube videos. Oh, people have even wait a sec, People have even better names for it. Uh, the Dunning Kruger effect. Uh, there's the Mandela effect. Is that what it's called? Oh the, no, the Mandela effect's like Dunning Kruger that, effect. Interesting. The Mandela effect's like something everyone believes that isn't true, but since so many be people believe it, people are like, "Wait, what?" Really? Like, for example, the Fruit of Loom symbol. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a, a like a like a cornucopia basket thing on it. It doesn't. No. Why would you think it did? It never did. But why would you think it did? Did you did you not think? That? I don't. I don't know that I've spent a lot of time thinking about underwear. Well, no, but have you ever like what when you think of the like the logo for it? What do you think it looks like? Uh, oh, Iron Game it, is yeah. playing Terraria. It feels like a what? Yeah, they're playing Terraria right now. I was about. I went to Steam because I shut the front door. I thought he was doing homework. No. <laughs> oh God. He said. He said I can't do Tech Bandits today. I've got so much homework. He said. Oh man, should I go turn it off? Should I go turn the TV? Should I go just like go turn? I'll turn the PC off and then pull all the cables out again. Apparently, I no, bent. It's... Apparently, I bent one of the cables. I was so mad. No, I think, just I think just go up just... normally and be like, "How is homework?" <laughs> Don't do that. Why doesn't someone? Or... Someone should text him. Should just get on Discord and go. Dad's on to you. Um, the Dunning Kruger or... effect is the uh, hypothetical cognitive. Oh boy, hypothetical cognitive bias. Stating that people with low ability at a task overestimate their ability. Ah. So it's, I don't understand hypothetical cognitive bias, but basically people with low ability at a task think they're better at it because they don't know how to do it, basically. Does that make sense? Yes. Here's an example. Let's see. We often feel more confident about a skill or topic than we really should. But at the same time, we're often unaware of our overconfidence. So the basic question how should we think about our thinking and make it more accurate? There you go. There you go. So that's so okay. So it was this Dunning Kruger effect. That's kind of neat. Yeah. Um. Overconfidence. Yeah. You know, I feel bad. Like what those self mark things. I feel really bad giving myself like high marks because I'm like, well, you know, there was that one time I didn't do this right. Right. I just feel bad giving myself high marks because it's like, well, what if I'm actually not that good at stuff? And what if actually I, I just That's imposter I syndrome. Where you think you're, where you, where you, I feel like they've got, so that's the, the opposite of the Dunning-Kruger effect, which is basically yeah. that you think that you're not, that you've somehow like tricked people, that someone's going to figure out that you're actually lying. You really don't know anything. Well, I don't think that. I just think that actually... Like, there's some things that apparently, according to Marx and stuff, I'm actually, well, not according to Marx, but apparently, like, if I do better in stuff than I think I do. But you don't even like Marx. So you're doing good at Marx and you don't even like Marx. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I feel good when I get a good Mark, but I feel like that's a bad thing. I think well, J okay. James Gurney is, I think, confessing to having imposter syndrome, too. Do you, do you get what I mean? The thing about Marx is saying that I don't like Marx. It's true. I don't. Hmm. Like, I don't think it's probably a good thing. But I, at the same time, that's me trying to tell myself, listen, and it's probably not a good thing that you get so emotional or attached to a letter. So it's more like I'm telling myself that hmm. Marx are bad. Hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, it's funny. I mean, you were talking about Marx. I was looking at this thing called the Fraser Institute last night. 
which is, I'll put the link up for people if they want to see it, but um, it's, uh, it rates schools, right? Yeah. But I started questioning, well, what, how do you rate a school? Like, what's important yeah. in rating a school? Is it about standardized? Food. Can I say something? Yeah. Food credit, I don't, like, maybe if it's terrible, but at the same time, I'm like, why do these people get to decide if a restaurant did or not? Aren't they generally people who've been like, are they, are they not like journalists okay. with valuable you know opinions or something? Actually, or? I like the food critic, the food critic thing. But what I mean is, I feel like, I don't know what I'm saying. I lost my train of thought. You, well, you were saying that why should a food critic be able to criticize? Well, that, critics is an interesting thing that you raise. It's an interesting well, point there. Someone's no. job is to rip apart other people's work. I, if I, I'm actually sort of interested in maybe becoming a food critic, but not in like that way, in a way of, I talk about restaurants I do like mm. and try like small businesses I do like. And then. So only a positive, so you'd only write reviews for places you liked. Oh, I, like. I going on to Hang, small businesses. Hang on, hang on one second, Wolf. But one, one second. I just want to get a. I just want to get the answer from Wolf from uh, Think Noodles on this. If you would you, so you would do food reviews, but you wouldn't, but you don't want to write bad reviews for people. No, because I fe I'd feel really bad. Do you like, think they could learn from that? Yeah, Maybe. I mean, I get it if you give a bad review on something because you're like, uh, this person put glass in my food. Don't go there. That makes sense. But I mean. For a place that... Yeah, that's okay, called attempted murder. Food. Yeah, that's called attempted murder. We I'd give them like a bad that. review. I'd give them a bad review for that, I think. Yeah. But like, but, like, maybe I'd do that, you know? Hey, these people tried to murder me, so, like, maybe don't go to this restaurant. Right. But, I mean, like, there's, like, God, because sometimes I'm like, okay, but, like, would you go to... Mc you wouldn't go to McDonald's and say it's high food. Personally, I don't like McDonald's, but we're not going to touch on that. There, I mean, a lot of that food isn't good for you, but they're not actually trying to murder you. No, they're not trying to murder you. They're just slowly <gasps> killing you. Oh my God, I have no, something else wait. for you. So, yeah. so sorry, I totally changed the subject. No, 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 no. Finish your topic. Finish your topic, okay. and then I'll, then I'll, well, then I'm I'll just, jump in. I'm just saying that, like, okay, so their food isn't like crazy expensive, like top level five hundred dollar worth food. That's like. The best food ever. Right. But, like, people like it. I like it. Yeah. Or, like, Mc, no one's going to say McDonald's is gourmet, right? It's not. But, like, for other stuff, like, mm. I don't know, like a small restaurant, just because the food isn't perfect or mm. the food isn't the most amazing food you've ever had doesn't mean it's not good. Mm. It's like, but why you do... shouldn't it matter if they serve, if the what they serve is like five hundred dollars or like just good you know but if someone's charging like a crazy amount of money for food wouldn't you want to know oh, that... if it wasn't worth it yeah but i mean like well like uh you know i had a friend of mine about mcdonald's who said who said if you got a mcdonald's burger anywhere else other than mcdonald's You'd be like, this is disgusting, and they'd send it back because it's soggy and it's like, it's it's all you know what I mean. Like it's sort of, it, it you know it, it it looks terrible. It's that's branding. branding. Yeah, it's, it's market branding. It is, but isn't like, it? I mean, it really is. I mean, like, and then there's places that are ten times better than McDonald's. I don't care what kind of backlash I get for that, but I mean, I there's tons of restaurants that I'd totally rather get a burger at than McDonald's mm. because they fill their stuff with junk. Now that's my opinion. On McDonald's, I don't like McDonald's because it's just not good for you. It's unhealthy, and instead of just eating out at a cheap, well, not cheap, but instead of eating out at McDonald's all the time, I rather go to one nice, good place. Mm. But sometimes I just feel like a Big Mac. That's fine. You know, yeah. what? I don't care if people like McDonald's. I don't. I don't really care. I'm just saying that's my personal opinion. You know, I I never. You know, one of the biggest problems for people were like like not being able to go to restaurants hmm. but like i i don't i never my family never really does like we like didn't eat out or fast food or anything like that oh, I, we do sushi i do love my sushi oh that's fine oh like, and my ramen oh and i love my pizza oh and wings i like food hey, pizza's 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 different i like food because i agree but i mean like I don't know. I never went to fast food places a lot. 
Mm -hmm. Um, I, I mean, I. The most fast you place is that spend a cookie to place on the damn floor. That, <gasps> that's the most thing I mean. don't say the name. That's probably bad. That's probably hints. But, but isn't that wouldn't that be good for them though? If they knew, if people knew about it. If you're ever uh, in Toronto, it's a chain. It's you've, a chain. You've, it is. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a chain. They have like two other like a few. Oh, they have one in a hospital, don't they? Isn't there like one in a hospital Maybe. somewhere? I think. Okay, yeah. well, I don't know wherever you are, but it's called a few. Athens so I, Bakery. Yeah, I, th I was about to say it's okay oh, if okay. we say it because I'm pretty sure there's a few. Okay. Um, but if you're in Toronto, there's this really good place called Athens Bakery, and it has like yeah. Ha has anyone ever had like spinach pies? Like it's I think it's Greek. Spanakopita. Spanakopita. Yeah. Um, so it's Greek, right? I think. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Greek. Uh. Yeah. So it's really, really good, and honestly, it's not that bad for you either. So. I'm trying to find this thing because I thought I'm trying to find this thing because I thought uh, it's uh, about it's a it's a it's a lab grown steak. Oh, we've seen this before. We've done this. Before. No, no, this is a new one. This is a new one. Oh. It's like a it's a real it's a real deal thing. It's like a let me have a look here. Like it's it's possibly coming on to making it right if that makes sense. Like it's actually oh, not okay. not just not just a vegetarian version. This is actually like actual steak. Right. Okay. I just want to see if I can find that. There's a company that they had. I'm following them on Twitter now because I'm kind of interested in what they're doing. Lab Steak. I, I, I think it was an Israeli company. I think. Let me see. Israel. There we go. Let's see if it's Israel. I'm pretty, yeah, I, 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 like I, thought, I was saying, I don't do that. I don't really go. To there it is. I found it. I found it. Their company is called Alf Farms. Alf Farms. Um, Okay, let me go and paste this in here. So they are, they have created a steak. And this steak is, uh, is grown in a lab. It's all lab grown meat. Let me just go, I'm not to do an ad for them, but uh, let me do an ad for them. Uh, so look at this. I wonder if we could see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if they have any videos on their stuff. I bet you they've got like a YouTube channel. The stream. Did, you did. <laughs> Uh, okay. About us, our value behind the scenes, uh, new standard for me. I'm just wondering if there's any. Uh, hmm. Is there like a. So they're basically making steak, but they're growing it in a lab. So it's actually meat. So it's not vegetarian, but it's just being created in a slaughter free environment. Anyways, I'll put this web. I'll put the website. I wonder how good at. it tastes. Probably not very good to start, I'm guessing. You know what I mean? Like it always takes a while for things to things to to change. Um, so one of the things that I wrote in one of my sci-fi stories. Also, I, just want, I, I just want to say that like hmm. think about the steak is like pretty expensive, right? Exactly. And think about all of the resources required to grow a cow to to yeah. steak like quality. So I mean, like if we could genetically create good steak and basically mass produce it in a way that's like pretty eco-friendly mm. just think how many people could actually afford steak if and also like good steak you know not just well this is it i mean so sci-fi to the sci-fi ang angle on that was my my sort of like crazy horror like approach to this was like what if you could just grow a cow so big that it was multiple blocks of cow so it had and that, and my my assumption was that if this cow, in order to make the the beef taste good, you wanted the cow to believe that it was alive. So you had one cow that was basically the head of a factory that was a giant, massive structure which was all cow. And what would happen if someone went cow tipping? Right. So, so what if someone hacked in? to a giant cow factory and messed with its settings, right? Okay. I I sort of lost you at cow, but I think I'm getting it. So the idea is basically that in, that you would create a factory yeah. that was just a giant cow. And it was just the parts of the cow you wanted and you could sort of slice off bits as you needed to. And so you're saying like an infinitely regenerating cow. mega cow. Yes, exactly. You slice off a bit, yes. it grows more, um, that kind of stuff. So. Can we stop for I like want a, a mega cow. I just appreciate how good food is in general. Mega cow. I like that. 
When cows oh. go bad. Okay, Mega can cow. I just, yes. Can I just say, Food like, is for good. A second, yeah. Food is really good. Um, I hope they can, like, with meat and stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I really love meat. Yeah, I, I, I like meat, too. And if you could take the murder part of it out, I would love that. Wouldn't you? I wonder if, like... I, I don't know. I'm not vegan. But this is a question to anyone that might be vegan. Would you eat meat if it, like, wasn't part... Like, if it was genetically grown? Would you eat meat if... But isn't... Everything is genetically grown, is it not? I mean, anything, everything well, okay. is basically genetically yes, engineered. but if there was no... Like, if there was no, like, sort of cows, if that makes sense, involved in the process, hmm. would you eat meat? Is that the, like, I'm just curious if there's anyone that's veg vegetarian or vegan or anything. Hmm. That the actual concept of, I mean, at some point, though, you must get these cells from an animal, right? Which I'm sure is not a pleasant experience for the animal. Is that part I of the mean, problem? It hurts, but are you, it's not like you're shooting it in the head to kill it. Hmm. Which is the but difference? I have a, I have a question. Um, with with that is like, what type of cells would they actually need? Fake cells, or would they need just animal cells? Because then they could just like I don't know, get some poop. Well, they're basically growing the the culture. So they're basically my assumption is, and we'd have to maybe we can ask them about it. But the assumption I have is that, and if you go to that website, go to the Alpha Farms because they have a section for kids. To. Uh, where you can actually talk to them about the future of food and stuff. Um, huh. But um, but my assumption is what they're doing is they're taking cells, like individual cells, and having them replicate and grow, thinking that so they're well, thinking that they're in a body when they're not. They're actually growing well, into about, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But how about this? As long as like we have at least one cow, like it, as long as like we're not just gonna kill all the cows then. They're not mm -hmm. gonna go extinct. I don't know what we're actually gonna do with them if we manage to pull this off but that's a that's a problem for later well we created cows anyways right i guess we've basically we've basically mated the right cows to have big fat docile dumb cows I'm instead gonna... of smart cows that would you know say hey you're not eating me and poke us with the horns and take off <laughs> I, I, I just want i just want to say though cows are actually really cute oh my god i love okay. cows I have a real problem. I try not to eat beef because really? because well, there are cows at in in greenfields where we where we. You will were just talking about eventually how much live. you love McDonald's. I know, but that's so, to be honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know how much of their burger is really meat. So fair enough. But fair that's enough. the disconnect for me. That is the disconnect that I have right now. Is I go. I love meat. I love bacon. I love bacon on meat. I love, like, I mean, I really do enjoy eating meat. But then I go and I look at the little piggy face and I go, but I don't want to do that to little piggies. Um, and maybe I'm just turning into a big suck as I get older. Um, but I, I, you know? I mean, I, I'd still eat. The reason I don't have a problem with eating animals is because, I mean, it's like the natural circle of life. For me, that's what it is. Well, and then some people the would argue that it's I not. Have, the problem I have hmm. with it is um, the way we get our animals. That's the problem. It's not eating the animals. It's just the fact that it's mass produced and it's causing big problems like hmm. global warming. You know. It's funny because the the um, they have clone. They have um, they have fake chicken now too. Actually, I'm not sure if they have chicken like like meat chicken, but I know that like. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Beyond Burger has a has a chicken one now too. Mm -hmm. I like. I I just feel like if there was a way, but again, this was the whole point. If you go back a little ways, the reason why we have so many cows and all of these problems is because we were trying to figure out another way of having of everyone being able to have beef, right? Yeah. How cheap is it? There's just like a, there's a ton of land. We're never going to run out of land. We just put a bunch of cows on it. We let them eat the grass, and then we um, we chop them up into burgers, and it's great. What a great way to make money! Um, and people say, "Well, what about the what about the dairy industry? What about the what about the the the, the beef industry? What about the people who work in these in these um, jobs? What do they do?" Yeah. Like if we get rid of it, if we get rid of 
of of cattle farming, what happens to what happens to them? We move them to the genetically producing cows. Industry. We retrain them. Yeah, I would I would say the same thing. You find get jobs, get higher paying jobs that 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 they can do, and maybe and I think there will probably always be room for like a like raising a few cows. Maybe, maybe you pay I extra mean, to have like real cow. At that at that point, what's the difference between real cow? Real cow is in an animal. Uh, fake, uh, a quote unquote fake cow wasn't an animal, but it's the exact same with like DNA and everything like that because mm. we've been able to replicate. Mm. Yeah, if you can't taste the difference, if you're if you're truly growing a steak, I'm gonna be honest. That's the thing with fake diamonds for me. It's like, why does it matter if it's real? It looks the same. It looks nice. Whatever. Mm. But yeah, it's like fake. Di people are like, oh, the diamonds have to be real. It's like. You can just say, like, to someone, oh, these diamonds, they're real. Of course they're real. This is real diamond. And they'll be like, oh, okay, that's really pretty. How expensive was it? And mm. then you make up some random number when it was really, like, pretty cheap. And then they're like, oh, that's cool. I now think of you more because you have expensive rock on your finger. Well, but it it's funny, though, how people do respond to that, isn't it? It's the same thing with cars, right? If you have a fancy car or the best phone or, you know... There's a status symbol to it, right? I'm gonna be honest though, uh, best phone thing that is, it's not, it's just nice. It is nice to have a good working phone though. That's. I spent a lot of time on my phone, so I ended up spending a lot of money on it. I think I spent more money on my phone than I did on my new computer. Oh. My new computer yeah, like, is like my interim computer. I'm hoping. My mm. friend just got like the newest phone, but like, mm. she's not, she's not very aloof about it. I don't know. It she's just, not very I'm what. Just, She's not aloof about it or anything. Right. But I'm just saying that, like, her parents, she's bought that phone, and she's going to have that phone for a while. That's the idea, right? Right. It's yes. Not, it's oh, supposed to last. Yeah, it's supposed to last. Um, Because all her older phones have been hand-me-downs, and for some reason seem to drop from 32% to 0% to 72% in, like, five minutes. So that was a bit weird. Um. Yeah, her hmm. phone died once and then rebooted at like seventy-two percent. Really? Phones aren't supposed to do that. That is weird. All right, yeah, someone's... so that's All why right. her parents are. Doing this. Someone yeah. says I don't get why there is such a demand for fake meat that is close to the real thing as possible. At that point, just eat meat. Well, no, I think Horrid Seven. The reason for it is well, certainly for me, is um, well, in some cases, I find like. I mean, I love a, I love a good burger. Forget like you know. Getting rid of mass production is. That's it. I think it's yes, exactly. That's it. Trying Wait, to get rid here's of. Here's the here's the question: Is okay. this just replacing one problem with another? Well, that's it. We so replace, yes, that's a really good point. If we replace everything, how do we know producing this meat isn't going to be worse than having cows? And that's what we have to start looking out for, right? So we got to look out for what are what are the secondary issues that are going to happen here? Like if we if we get rid of. If we, you know, what is, is the process of making, like, I love, absolutely love the Beyond Meat Burger. Not because it's pretending to be meat, but because I think it tastes better than meat. Because they're, and, and, they're, and their goal, I, I, had an, I heard an interview with the guy who, who created it, and he was a farmer. He grew up on a farm. And again, he had the same problem where he was like, well, i eating bacon. I look at piggy face. I can't do the two. I don't understand. And eventually they went totally vegan, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. But, um... Oh, I'm going to be on. I can't do that. I, uh, well, I, especially right now, I don't think it might not be a good idea for me to go completely vegan. I'm sure I could, but I, I just don't know that I'm going to want to. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, being vegan is probably very easy once you start doing it. It just, for me, also, um, with being vegan, there's a lot of protein. Like, mm. I get that you can get protein, but, like, th there's ways to get protein, but, like, like beans, but I don't love beans. And the problem is I'm also growing, so without protein and some nutrients, that mm. might be harder to get from being vegan. That that's really interesting. So you may not – that's true. There may be some some issues there, potentially. But, again, yeah. vegan is very strict, is it not? Is that not the – Um, It's no animal products. Right. That can be difficult for sure. Um, I would have – I, and if I, there's a few things was, I miss. If, like, I ever went to go vegan, I wouldn't go full vegan. I would still have drink milk. That's right. You'd still do milk? Milk is, in my opinion, milk is not murder. The cows, right. you're just drinking. 
out of oh my god now that again give it that whatever thing. whatever your diet is um it's whatever your diet is or whatever you eat that's completely fine it's it's your choice and whatever makes your body happy and healthy right that's mm -hmm. that's what really matters that's that's all that really matters and if being vegan like really helps your body or gives you a good mindset or it makes you happy then that's great just personally for me it will, doesn't really work hmm i'm just trying to do the, that's the thing i'm trying to do the title of this episode can i do another quick rant here but just before that's you do let me give me okay. give me give me one second give me uh, give me your brilliant brain for a second okay so tech bandits today we talked about mars landings lab steak what else uh, why don't we just make it talking Mars, about Mars landing, uh, lab steak, uh, and endless tech problems. All right. Tech bandits, more like tech failures. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> that it hurts me. That hurts, wolf pup. Why, oh, why could you? Why, why would you turn on me at two wolf pup? All right, sorry. Do your rant. Well, do your rant, noodles. What do you got? Okay, so this is a big issue with me. So yeah. why can't people get along? Okay, I'm actually. So why can't you get along? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just kidding. Thank, thank you, thank you for that demonstration of exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> um, but I'm actually the funny thing. We're doing stuff on like racism and stuff right. in class, and I my and I'm, we have to write an essay. And my question is actually, why can't people get along? This hmm. is a thing that's always like confused me. Hmm. I guess, like, why does the color of your skin, the person you love, the gender you identify, the things you eat define like whether someone likes you or not? Hmm. Like, even with like. Veganism. If someone says I'm vegan, and someone's like, "Oh, I don't like you. Why? They're not. Are they bothering you? No. Like, why?" It is because this might be controversial, but yeah. I so I don't know if I really want to say it. But the vegan T-shirt. I feel oh, like okay, okay, that's a different subject. There What's are... a vegan T-shirt? Okay, do I? She, she's a vegan. Sorry, vegan t-shirt? Teacher, teacher. Oh, vegan teacher. I was like, a vegan t-shirt? I don't want to eat a t-shirt. <laughs> no, you don't. Even if it is vegan. She is a bad human who happens to be vegan. Really? That's them some fighting words. Why Why would you say she's not a good human? Uh, because she says that some pe um, there's no such thing as people who can't go vegan because of health reasons. There's no such... Uh, you should change your religion. Mm. Uh, it based um, depend like if it doesn't support like if it or like if your religion isn't adjusted to veganism, uh, you should change your religion. Mm. Um, and she also makes it sometimes sounds like she is quite against Black Lives Matter because mm. she's using Black Lives Matter into like making you vegan. To be honest. So, so you think she's like co-opting Black Lives Matter for her own purposes? Oh yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Just like, yeah. And companies. is is she? So she is. She's not. She's not black. She's just vegan. No, she's middle-aged white old woman. Okay. And you think is she being intolerant in her? Like, is uh, she... she is so. Just she's one of those people that's just like, why, why can't you just listen? Mm. Because another thing is, it's like. Anybody that says, oh, I don't want to be vegan, or, mm. or like, even, maybe, I don't speak for everyone, but some people that are vegan have explicitly said, uh, this is not what this is all about, that's not fair, she's not mm. being fair, because she's just very, very, she tries, she's, like, pressuring people to do this, and it's like, mm. and, and... But if you believe in something really strongly... And you no, think it's, it's the right thing. That. It's beyond that. It's 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 bad. It's it's hard to explain. You have to you have to actually if she's on TikTok, you actually have to hmm. watch some of what she's saying. Wait a second, I understand. have to watch it? Well no, So I have to go saying. check out what's her name? Vegan teacher? That vegan teacher. She has made songs about 
how eating animals are wrong, and she... <laughs> There was, like, oh, there was a guy I grew up with, um, Morrissey, who used to, who he had an album called Meat is Murder, I think. He was very, very anti, anti uh, uh, meat eating. Uh, and okay, so he's a vegan teacher. Did he ever, did he ever, like, think someone was a horrible, awful person that didn't deserve anything because they weren't vegan? Or, and... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, because we, you know, because the other thing that happened here recently, I'm just going to jump in for one second, actually, because I realize I haven't had a chance to say thank you very much to Kick Jr., who just subscribed for 19 months. Woo! What that? 19 months! That's Come on. That's a bit rude. Why would you kick Jr.? Stop kicking Jr. Um, but he to you too, Kick Jr. Thank you very much. Um, like another thing? Yeah, go, go, go. She just, it's like, she 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 is just okay so like first of all it, it's just okay how do i phrase this um is she think... she's confrontational with it uh, uh one second one second i just have to finish whatever the game is i'm doing <laughs> the dual screening it's amazing uh no i uh... Is my dual screening showing? Because I think I'm staying on topic. Is your uh, what? No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I, look, I don't mind the dual screening because I know that's what I know. That's the way it the way it works. Um, sorry, I was just texting I, a friend. To be, I like, just want to say this. I, the reason yeah. why I dual screen is because this counts as my game time. Mm. This counts as your game time. Yeah. You're giving up game time for Tech Bandits. No, I'm. Gaming I'm, while your eyes see, but still, that's very. That, I'm I'm flattered. Um, so yeah, I was just okay. Okay, so I've got to check out vegan teacher. That vegan teacher on TikTok. She's just like it, it's almost like if you're not vegan, hmm. you deserve don't deserve to be alive. You don't deserve to be a person. Your opinion doesn't matter if you're not vegan. That's what she's saying. That does seem problematic to me. And the problem is, the other problem with her is it gives people a bad impression about people who are vegan, which is terrible because they're, like, there's, like, <laughs> you're, the, the food you decide to eat does not depict the person you are. It, it, it's just, just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're mean, but she's, She's make she's just so hostile and uh, she's just making it like that. She's but do you think part of this is just trying to get attention? I mean, is this not do you, like sure? I mean, we all know now that social media is more popular when it causes you know people to to get angry. If they get angry, then they're watching it. They're going, "Aha! See, she said it again." Baz would no, watch videos it's, that it's, he didn't like over and over again. It's not, it's not, it's not that they're over-exaggerating. She's not being over-exaggerated. Like I said, she's... Hmm. She's not representing the brand well. Well put, paper clips. That's a good Thank point. You. She's not representing anything well. She's, she's very preachy. Like... Miss Lynch says she's very preachy. Okay, so I'll have to, yes. che I'll have to check her out. That's um, what it's like. It's sort of like... And also, like, she'll do random stuff, like duet popular creators' videos and be like, you should go vegan or something. And just... Wow. Or, like, or like for no reason. And because, like, I don't know, like, this uh, one person, Tommy Innitz, like, uh, said something, like, I'm at college and surrounded by women, which is, like, as a joke, sort of. And mm. then the vegan teacher TikTok duetted that, and she's like... Um find a nice vegan girl and she'll tell you like teach you what to do and it's like but why he's a my like this has the thing is it's like she tries to impose herself on everything just to get attention hmm. like with tommy tommy in it right he's, but we're watching her though like she's getting attention obviously right uh, i don't watch her. she's getting bad attention ah i see okay she's I, getting a lot of hate the problem is, it's there's true, here's the other problem to she be honest there's a lot of videos going she, against her yeah she gets attention when she's like this and pe it, the best almost the best thing to do is to not 
like try engage. not to talk about try not to engage yeah because that gets your attention now people are going to go watch your videos right mm. it's not if you are going to if you want to know what she's about find something that's like a compilation on youtube of her so you don't give her views you don't give her this this attention right? but it's an interesting are... question though what do you do if you truly believe that meat is murder what if you truly believe that the, the the lives of animals is equal to the lives of humans? And I sometimes struggle with that myself. Where I go like, why? Who are we to say that we're better than these animals? So we're gonna. I mean, I think it was New Zealand has is one of the first countries to say that animals uh, is is to. I can't remember what there was some kind of difference. They've got some kind of equating human life and animal life to some yeah, extent. There's a few things I get that sometimes I'm like, really? You do that for your dog? Mm. Because, or like when people donate or spend a lot of money on their pets, and I, sometimes I feel like... Right. I mean, Or for example, pet... when people put little coats on, on pets, that's when I think it's cruel. Because I think that's just making them look silly. Okay, well, sometimes that's actually warm. That's uh, some people have like not like styled coats, but like yeah. But that's because we've like we've God, we've bred these poor little animals that can't even live in the winter, and then we bring them to the winter. Fair enough. I don't know, but yeah, that's no. I okay. So she's she's very toxic. I, I that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I get I get that. Um, yeah, it's like um the thing with um what was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh yeah. Personally, okay, this... putting your pet in a fancy raincoat, I think you should donate money to something else. But but animals eat other animals. I just don't get the problem. Animals this... eat animals that they can hunt and kill. We are raising animals to kill them in such large numbers that we are actually having an effect on the environment. I think is the issue. Is that is that? Am I stating that correctly? Yes. Yeah. Like okay, I like there's like of course I. Yeah. That that's that's basically it. Like with that vegan teacher though, it's just that she's toxic. She's like, she can't be, like, and she is like, I like. There's like, what she's saying is racist. She is being racist, though she's like. She's I'm being. Not racist. What would it, we need a better term for it, though, don't we? Mm, like not no. racist. She's being. No, 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 no. no, no. She is. Buddhist. Food. Oh, she's she, racist as well. Oh no, she's. I mean, she compared people to animals what how did that work okay. okay basically what happened maybe i'm i'm not completely sure on all the facts so mm. please do not quote me on this but I okay mean, one of her videos she did say like like she was like black lives matter and then she sort of compared that to animals being killed what did animal lives matter too well like yes but it, she compared the Black Lives Matter movement hmm. to, like, animals, if that makes sense. Like, huh. It's sort of hard to describe. But there was an equation. She somehow equated. It, an equation. Equated. Sort of equated insinuated. black lives and animal lives. Yeah, it's like in the same sentence. Yeah, that seems a little. That seems, a little iffy. Yeah, it seems a little. Um, shall we say? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, racist. racist. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We'll do that. yeah, that does seem that does seem a little a little off there. I mean, again, the greatest awesome. the greatest description I heard about Black Lives Matter, um, I think was Bag of Chips told me this, and it was that um, it was that okay, your house is on fire. Okay, let's say your house is on fire, and the fire department shows up to put the fire out. And your neighbor runs out and says, hey, my my house could catch fire too. Spray, why aren't you spraying my house? Yeah, and, that, I've heard that before. And I thought that was a great way of putting it. Whereas, as we know, in a situation like that, the best thing to do would be to run out and help your neighbors put that, their fire the thing, out the, so that then say, everyone's safer, right? That's the thing with the all lives matter thing. Mm -hmm. It's not that that's in correct. And it's I thought that to start. Just so you know, I thought that. Yeah. I was like, wait a second, I don't like this. I don't like this all, what, what I'm white. What, my, my life matters too. I didn't realize. The point is. Yes. They haven't been accepted and they haven't been allowed. So it's basically saying, 
listen guys black lives matter and well and their frame of reference is different than ours right so we the reason why we have a hard time equating um the issues that black people have had in society well that i do because is because i'm not i'm not black right yeah and i always feel bad talking about these because i don't know the facts and i've never experienced these things and i think I it's important talk, to talk about them I'm though i think it's sorry. i do think oh, it's yeah, important yeah, for yeah. Because I think it's I think that's part of the problem is I think I think that white people are nervous to talk about this stuff, and I think and I that that to... has led to a lot of things sort of sort of being swept under the rug when when they shouldn't be. So yeah, I... and I just want to say, um, like, uh, uh, yeah, sorry if I say anything. Well, and it should be uncomfortable, right? Yeah. I mean, think about how uncomfortable it's been for 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 the black population all this time. Why shouldn't we feel a bit uncomfortable talking about this stuff? I mean, yeah. I think. You know, I think if we didn't feel uncomfortable, it'd probably be a bad sign, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think as long as you're 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 not, um, you know, as as long as you're not um, as as long as you are are open and aware that your frame of reference is going to be different than other people's, I think you're in a good you're in a pretty good spot. I would say, you know. Yeah. Um, but yes, unfortunately, talking about things can get you in trouble. But I think that sometimes things are important enough that it's worth possibly saying the wrong thing in a bid to try to say the right thing, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that would that'd be my take on it anyways. Um, I hate to do this because this is a really interesting discussion, but I got to yeah. go and uh, and uh, get dinners and things sorted out. Oh, I got a, I have a friend too. You I'm... don't have a friend. Come on. Oh my God. Is your friend oh. Google? No. <laughs> All right. You've got a friend. Fine. Um, uh, so, um, uh, all right, what else did I have to say? Anything else? Was there anything else I need to do? Is there anything else I need to say thanks to? I'm, I haven't been terribly good about the chat, have I? Um, uh, th thank you to Clanky for the follow. Thank you. I can't read it because I'm blind. Let me just, can I go bigger? Make it go bigger. Noodles. What? How do I make it go bigger? Make what go bigger? Make I the have screen, to go. the screen go bigger. Okay, I got it. Uh, all right, get out of here, Noodles. Have fun. Thank okay, you very much. Bye. Good chat. Good chat. Have fun. Uh, see you soon, I guess. You shall indeed. Um, so one day we're going to be doing cave bandits. We're going to do cave that bandits, for sure. I think that's a great idea. I love it. Let me just thank a few people. <laughs> I'm going to say thank you, Clanky304, for the follow. Thank you, Little Neutrino, for the follow. Thank you, Snuptic, for the follow. Snuptic. That's really fun to say. Uh, thank you, Thus Stip. Was it Thus? Still very small. Titus? I can't. My God, how do I make this screen bigger? I'm going blind. Am I going blind? How make screen go big? Make small big. Screen. Yeah. Make small screen big. Will that work? No. Why won't it go bigger? This. I need like to. Oh my God. Do I have to seriously add accessibility features to my. Oh my God. I do. Okay. So let me get. Let me, let me pull the screen right in here. Okay. And then I can say that it says. Thus Stefano, thank you for the follow. Thank you, PHC Johnson, for the follow. Breadwitch, Breadwitch, makes me hungry. Breadwitch, um, Alex Speed, Jedi Master Trek. Boy, you got them all covered there. Um, uh, My cat license doesn't work. You have a cat license. <laughs> Uh, Lily, yeah. Lily three three seven for the thing. Def Defian for the thing for the follow. Uh, Defilin or Defilin. Uh, Nils Warum, Slacker Girl, Cosmic Matt, Adram, 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 Adram Malesh, um, Ansius. I'm gonna get all these wrong. Oswald and Santos for resubscribing. Thank you very much. Hello, dears. Back at you. That was 11 days ago, so I think I've gone far enough. Okay, um, that was that was my shout outs to everybody. All right, I better go make some dinner. First, I want to say my cat license isn't working, and we're really doing cave bandits. That was just a dumb thing that I said. No, but wouldn't it be fun? We just like we just look at. I want to see like some videos. I'll find some videos about people building like old shell, like cool old like primitive shelters and stuff. And we'll do like a total, and we'll just talk about just caveman stuff. Wouldn't that be good? We could even try to talk in caveman while we're doing it. My cat, cat no license, no appear. Wait. Yeah, that one's stretching it a little bit, I'd say. Spelunking. Um, oh, we could talk about spelunking too. You know what spelunking I, is? Uh, I have never went it, but I something's happening in Terraria. 
Something's there happening in Terraria. Is... Clanky, There's thank you for like... the subscription. I'm wanting to get far as far as I can around my base. There is lava. Like Hey, did Baz get you back into did Baz get you back into that? Um no. I actually didn't know Baz played this. What do you mean I didn't read out today's subscribers, Cal? That's what I did. I just did. I just said thanks to all those follow people. Were they only the old ones? Did I miss something? I said hi to Clanky. Thank you, Clanky. Boy, talk about Clanky and Cranky over here. Cranky Cal. Uh, oh, Cal! Oh, that's why! Cal subscribed because I'm old and blind. That's why she's so grumpy because she I missed her subscription. Did I? I'm actually a bit scared because there's stuff in the air and I have no clue what it is. In, in, not in the real air. In the... No. Okay. In Terraria, there's just, like, fire in the air and I'm really confused. So really the only person I missed that Cal was mad about was Cal. Way to go, Cal. Thank you, Cal. David misses my subs all the time. What? Ruby K, did I? Oh, man. Stupid me. All right, Ruby K, Cal, everybody, thank you very much. Um, what? You? There was a tier three? Who? What crazy person put it a tier three? I don't even know what a tier three. I don't even know what a tier three is. What is a tier three? A tier three is just a type of subscription. Where was a tier three? I don't even. I don't. I'm not sure. Whatever the tier three was, does anyone know what the name of the person was who did the tier three? Twenty five bucks a month. What? That must have been something Baz set up. I didn't even know we had that. It's just a subscription. It just... If you buy a tier two, it gets you more stuff. And I am actually still... I don't think we're doing uh, any stuff, though, are we? You get emotes. Oh, do you? Oh, that's... Well, then that's worth I, it. I don't have any... I not subscribed anymore. I lost my gifted sub. You lo Oh, no. You lost your gifted sub. Can I gift you a sub? I don't, even know how, I don't even know how you do that. Oh, it's standard. Oh, it's standard. That's just what happens. Okay, what was it? So who is the Cal? Who is the tier three? Own up, tier three person, because I don't see you in here. Do I? Hi, Mr. Clean Tracy. Boy, Mr. Clean Tracy did a lot of hi David at the beginning of the stream, just to say, just so we all know. Thank you. That that person must have been angry when you didn't realize that. You yeah, no kidding. I'd be like, I'd like forget that. I'm canceling my tier three and I'm gonna go to like a tier one. Also, can I tell you something cool? It was Terabyte yes. Killer who did that? Maybe. Wait a sec. Okay, so Cal, was it Terabyte Killer who did that? Why are you whistling? Why is Cal... It wasn't yes. Cal. Cal didn't do a tier three, did she? Guess who is doing the streaming... Guess who is... Guess who is doing the... Oh my god, I can't speak... I mean, it's okay. oh I'm with gosh. you. Me neither. I can't either. What do you got? Um, I forgot. Have they said that? <laughs> How did? I... Oh, look at that. Is that no? I don't see it. I don't see a tier three. What have I mi What am I missing? I don't understand. Can I give a food tease? Food tease. Go uh, for it. Grilled cheese. I'm having it again. Oh man, seriously. Ugh. <laughs> oh. I wish. I wish. All right, I got to get out of here. Um, I am going to bail on everybody. I, whoever it was who did the tier three, thank you so much. There is no tier three. What? If it's a lie. In the chat, <gasps> oh, I... it's Cal. It was Cal screwed up. Um, can we can we just like we should could somebody should just capture that. Let me just capture that screen about it's a lie. I misread. Let me see. Okay. Oh, and then the, all the ahs as well. Let me just get this. Does, an, does anybody play just, Terraria here? I need a question answered because I'm, I'm actually starting oh, to panic. Ask Baz about it. Okay, let me, I'm just copying. I'm, I'm just taking a screen grab of Cal being upset and and pointing out how wrong she was. Okay, there you go. Got it. Okay. Well, it might be. It might just be there's a meteor going on. Oh, and then I better. I better actually. What hype train? Stop it! Thank you, James. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going now. You can't hype train me now. Um, wait a second. James, go to bed, Cal. Wait a second. I have to just, I also have to capture Cal because she also threatened to murder me so I could use that against her too. So I better just find that one as well. 
So what? if you die, then. <laughs> Keldor the Grey Skull. Thank you. My gosh. Oh, this... I can I announce something? Coop is streaming. Who's Coop? Oh, Captain Coop. Coop. Commander Coop. Should we let command? Should we? Should we? Should we attack Commander Coop? Yes. Um. <laughs> this would be our third time attacking Coop. I know. Maybe that's getting a bit much. What about Amelia of the Sea? Is she streaming? Fumbles McStupid. Oh my God! Thank you. Okay, this is now you're just doing this to bother me. Okay, is he seriously? This is the one I wanted to save. It says this one right here. Is he seriously screenshotting? I'm going to murder him. There you go. Cal, I got it on record now. So whenever I want something, I just go, Cal. It's perfect. Um, I'm trying to convince Cal. Cal. I'm trying to convince Cal to do some editing. What do you think? You threat Cal, you threatened to kill me. I so now if I die, then we know it's you. <laughs> Ha, huh. I screenshotted it, but chat, but chat won't let me paste it in Discord. Exactly, Ruby K. I got it too, Ruby K. We've got her. We got her now. She's going down. This is the end of Cal. Cal's reign of terror. Cal's hammer reign of terror is over now. Get some sleep, Cal. We love you. All right, Tweety Row, thank you very much. Ruby K, of course, as always, you are the best, even if I miss every single one of your subs. And um, yeah, and thank you after, you know, after what's it called, bot. <laughs> But you, you show, you're after the bot. I scroll, and then underneath the bot is the Ruby K. So I always end up thanking the. Okay, there you go. I'm out of here. Um, was there someone else that we should be? We should be. Um, is there any small streamers we should be helping? Uh, a streamer I used to watch, which is decently small, is streaming. Mm-hmm. And what do they, they do? They're playing Fall Guys. Oh, Fall Guys! I remember Fall Guys. Um, Fall Guys is the only game they play. That's it? That's all they ever play? Basically, all they ever play. Um, It is kind of fun raiding Captain Coop, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Because um, he just always looks so freaked out about it. And he just seems like a nice guy. So, all right, maybe we'll do that. Um, okay, I'm going to raid. I'm raiding. Oh, can you do me the same thing again? Could you give me his, uh, his actual um, address one again? One second, I'm still panicking. <laughs> Everybody, thank you. Be safe, be kind, be brilliant. Until we geek again, I shall say cheerio and huzzah! And now we shall do some raiding. And once we have He's raided... What's Rocket he League? There, oh, Rocket I sent League. it in the chat, and okay. now I can go back to panicking. Why? Why are you, why are you panicking? It's because something happened in Terry, and oh, I don't, haven't read it. And you're the, terrified. All right, everybody. I've got it. Sorry, sorry, Wolf Pup. I didn't mean to, I didn't realize you were still going. Um, and I haven't read up enough about the game, so I don't know what's happening. You need so I'm the so Wikipedia. I need to take a, I'm taking a backup of. The, I already. I like just took a backup of the server just in case. Right. Ooh, in case it, in case it goes horribly wrong. Um, yeah. I all I know at the moment is something's gonna go down. All right, Wolf Pup. We're raiding now. We're going in. Thank you, everybody. See you maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? Cheerio! Say hi to Commander Coop for me. Thanks, Wolf Pup. Oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> I love that wearing? wig. What is he wearing? That is a great wig. <laughs> I... Oh, I no longer have a sub to him either. Wow. I don't like that. All right, I gotta run. I'm just gonna turn off this because I know that that tends to keep going. There we go.